Hello YouTube, Eugene here with a review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 action figures. And today we are doing Leonardo. Yes friends, time to do something different other than Power Rangers Super Sentai and Rockman Mega Man reviews. So this is something new to the Jukin Forever channel. I've been a Ninja Turtle fan since I was 9 years old in 1990. So part of my childhood is coming back again. So let's start this review off with the packaging. Uh, as you can see, it's got Nickel Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And of course it says, includes Ninja Arsenal. And here is a CGI um, picture of the four. And it says, Leonardo, leader and king of the Katana Swords. And uh, on the back of the box here, it just shows you mainly, you know, bio and the story, you know, what happened to the Ninja Turtles, you know, how they became this. And here's a bio of each individual turtle, like Leonardo being the leader and then his weapons and the Team Ninja Turtle. Turtles. So on the uh, bottom of the box here, it just shows you advertisement of other uh, toys. So pretty much that's all. So, uh, let's okay get... friends, here he is, Leonardo. So I will be mentioning a lot that these figures remind me of the first Ninja Turtles that Playmates released that was in the late 80s. Well, besides the cards on this one's a little smaller than the ones from the late 80s. Um, and I also will tell you this, I am not familiar with the uh, 2003 Ninja Turtles, so pretty much I am basically familiar with, you know, the late 80, 80s one, so... Anyway, let's take a look at them. As you can see, very nice sculpture of the figure here. Absolutely love it. Um, now, face sculpt the uh, face sculptures will represent each turtle's personality. Personality, excuse me. So, as you can see, this one, this is Leonardo's uh, personality right here. Um, as you can see, the eyes, uh, just white, no pupils. <clears throat> and uh, there's the uh, end of the bandana, kind of, you know. Uh, Leo does have some battle damages on him, uh, which is really nice. Got some scratches here on the shell here. Really, really nice. Um, now, let's take a look uh, real quick at the shell here. Uh, and first, let's take a look at the uh, sheath. The sheath here is very, very rubbery, and of course, it does come out. And it has this little peg here. Now, one thing I will recommend you do not do is pull the sheath out a lot you know uh, because it might ruin this and plus I've had experience with this a long you know a lot lately uh, but anyway this is for the katanas so and I would definitely show that in this review so uh, anyway not a nice uh, detail on the figure as you can see uh, pretty pretty nice now there is something different and I have I do, definitely do have one of my uh, old Ninja Turtles here and I'm going to bring them into the shop. This is my old Donatello. Uh, got a lot of years on him, but anyway. Um, well, if you can see on Leonardo's feet, he's got three toes. We'll look at the difference from the um, one way back in the late 80s. More Two toes. movements than these kind of figures here. So, anyway, let's go ahead and, and take a look at it. Well, he can do a 360 all around head turn, which is pretty pretty nice and of course you gotta watch this sheath here because it will hit the sheath here uh, you know nice with the belt here but anyway um, nice range of arm movement uh, but you can uh, uh, move the elbows and of course you can uh, turn the wrist around which is really nice do a 360 turn here um, and uh, the legs of course you can move them uh, nice leg movement uh, the one thing you can't hinder, uh, you can't hinder it um, much back to, to the shell. Um, and he can also do a uh, knee movement here, so which is really, really nice and a big, big difference from the uh, late 80s ones. Um, pretty much nice how they did all this. I mean, the detailing is just so nice. I got to say, and I'm, I'm very, very impressed on how they did it. I love how they did this. Um, what more can I say? Uh, and this is pretty much why I got these figures. So, anyway, uh, and let me see if I can get him to stand for a second without falling. <laughs> Leo, half the time can be difficult to stand, but maybe it's just mine in particular. All right, let's get to the accessories. Um, 
And uh, one thing I forgot to show you guys uh, when I was showing off the card, he does come with a, a pamphlet. And, you know, it just shows you, uh, you know, a checklist of everything, you know, all the toys that you purchased and everything. So that's pretty much all um, pretty nice and, you know. So let's get to the weapons here. Well, here are Leo's actual num uh, swords, the katanas. Uh, as you can see, one is kind of longer than the other. Uh, probably for, like, a stylized um, way or whatever. Um, they're not... Um, they're just painted in gray. Um, I kind of wish they uh, painted the handles brown to make it, you know, even with the uh, CGI picture on the box. Um, but like I said, as you can see, one's longer than the other. So, and uh, I will show what the uh, swords look like in this hand. But next, he comes with a tray full of extra weapons here. Uh, as you can see, we got some shurikens, and here's an, uh, an extra sword here probably a little longer than this one uh, probably is but anyway and a whole bunch of daggers here but I will let you know that I will not uh, use these I'm just gonna keep them the way they are on this little tray here because it, they, they're really really nice and you know I mean collector standard you know um, but anyway let me go ahead and show you what he looks like with his uh, swords and his uh, hands here and basically, they just slide on in, uh, and pretty much like that. So, and then uh, I'll get the other one in. Uh, uh, but they do have a nice, nice fit to them. And if I can get this last one in. There, and we'll just rotate it. So, something like that. Uh, all around nice and perfect fit. I love Leonardo. I think I think Leonardo was always my favorite Ninja Turtle. But I kept flip-flopping from Don to Leo. So, um, And in the next part, I'm going to show you uh, uh, what the katanas look like in the uh, the sheath. So, right here. Anyway. And uh, it is a very, very tight, you know, push. But, you know, just go along with it and there you go. So... And uh, that's what he looks like with his uh, his uh, katanas and his sheath. All around nice, huh? So, uh, real quickly, I want to do a size comparison here. Uh, now, these are four inches tall in height. Um, they're um, so they're pretty much the same height as the very first ones that came out. And I'm gonna scoot these over. And, uh, but here is, uh, the original Donatello. Uh, he's kind of short, as you can see. Um, but probably about in the four inch height here. Um, I know this one's probably a little taller, probably about 4.7, maybe. Uh, it's just a guess. And, uh, but anyway, here's another one. This is the, uh, Mutation, uh, Wrath, the one that transforms into, you know, a little baby turtle. Um, pretty much a little taller than this one uh, but let me do another one here uh, here is the karate act the ninja action Donatello of course he's bending down so probably about four inches in height uh, and yeah in height so well yeah. friends that is it for this review I hope you enjoyed it I will be reviewing each individual Ninja Turtle in case some of you viewers have a favorite turtle in mind now, the new Ninja Turtle series will hit Nickelodeon in September, so the toys are hitting the stores now, so good luck on finding them. Now, feel free to comment if you want me to continue doing Ninja Turtle reviews, and I will give it some thought in the future. So check out my blog, it is Eugene42181's blog.blogspot.com for all your info on the channel, future reviews, future vlogs, you name it. And this is a different review on the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2012 action figures with Leonardo. I hope you enjoy. Please remember to comment and subscribe. And I'm Eugene. I am signing out. And y'all have a great day. And thank you for watching my reviews. Bye, friends.